See, we got all those, so we learned how to do them with a filbert, with the fan brush, with a two inch brush, and with a palette knife. So we've got different clouds right there. That's just kind of an idea. The key to this is, is just feel comfortable, loose. Don't tense up, don't hold the brush like you're going to kill it. Just let it flow, just relax. Let those, uh, just do small circles. You can do them this way, that way, whichever way you prefer. But just relax, let the canvas pull the paint off the brush that it wants. Like this is thick paint right here where the knife is, but that's the knife's technique is to give that texture. So uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe some of this uh, excess paint out of the uh, two inch brush. So let me get some of that paint out. This will help me blend these clouds better without destroying the, what I've got. So let me go ahead and uh, get that. So I've got just a little bit on there, but it's just stained into the bristles. It's not going to hurt anything. But Now this brush is fantastic for uh, blending. So if I take the uh, tip of the brush, see how I'm doing that? Just the tip of it. and. Uh, work around. Now look, I don't want to go to this top edge right here. I want to stay away from that. Just blend the base of this. And see this right here? Look, just a little bit right there. Just You just want to, these clouds just fluff up a little bit on these uh, clouds that I did with the knife. And the same with these. I'm not blending with the whole brush. It's just the top part of the brush just blending with the top part of the brush is all that I'm blending with. These right here just simply fluff up. Anytime you just tap them on there, if you blend, if I were to blend these, I would destroy all the detail of that. So what I want to do is just fluff it up and gently go across to remove any of the straight up brush strokes. See this? Just like that. Got it into play. See that? So we got all those clouds happening. We created a nice little sky. Just that simple. You've got all kinds of little clouds. Now one beautiful thing about making clouds is uh, you can go back and uh, create different uh, planes in the clouds. Like I've got some of this paint on there. This loaded up a chunk of that white paint and I want to go back in here and create another dimension I can just go in here and add a, a layer just like this right here maybe I need to put some right over here okay now let's get the knife out I enjoyed that I want to make it a little more texture right in here let's say see all this look let's just make some some nice clouds and you can see one of my paintings, I did a seascape that uh, uh, has got some, I did the, the clouds uh, with a knife and, and man, they turned out fantastic. You know, I was just like, and it's something you can't duplicate uh, to make it identical to that. It just happened, you know, with the colors it was going on with the canvas and things like that. So I'm wiping out my brush right now, get it back up here and let's just fluff these up just a little bit. See there? Go over them just a tad. And we can blend this one down a little bit. Blend it into the sky. Just like that. And softly go from left to right. And I think we got a nice looking cloud right there. What do you think? A nice little group of clouds. Let's see if we can kind of zoom in on those and see if we can uh, let you see kind of what they look like up close. See there? It's got this cloud right in here. You can see the texture on it and uh, it, 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 the distance where this blue's light in the background gives that distance of uh, depth. So that really helps out a lot. Now one other thing that, I mean, we can do all kinds of things with this, but 
one other thing that we can do is play with the shadows in the painting. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blue in with the, uh, on the filbert brush and I'm just gonna tap in some dark, look, I'm just tapping in some dark spaces right here. And uh, I want these that are gonna be like shadows in the clouds. So uh, these will play a real nice role in the, giving the cloud a lot more depth than it has right now, which it's pretty good right now. You can you can leave it the way it is, but let's take it a step farther and uh, and see what we can come up with, just to see see what we can create.